No, and I think that's very unfair to say, and I think it's very unfair to demonize the 70% of Americans who have serious questions about this. I've been called a hater and an Islamophobe and a bigot because I've raised questions. Look, there are politicians on all sides of this. I don't agree with Mayor Bloomberg, but I don't think he's used it for politics. Governor Patterson tried to find a compromise. I don't think that was political. So to say, yeah, but anybody who disagrees with them or disagrees with me or who thinks that maybe this is an unwise choice, they're bigots, they're Islamophobes, and yes, they have ulterior motives. Nobody, Roland, is questioning the right of, or most of the 70 percent, if you look at the polls, they're not questioning the right to put a mosque or a church anywhere. They're questioning whether this is a good idea to put this hundred million dollar structure. And it was originally, originally it was called a, an Islamic fee. Tonight the imam called it an interfaith center, I believe. If it's an interfaith center, let's do this. Let's ask him to do this. It's 15 floors. Let's put a church on a high floor. After all, Christians were the ones who founded this great nation. Then maybe a synagogue, Jews were, as, uh, as was noted before by the governor, among the first to find religious freedom here. And then a mosque as well on a, on a lower floor. If we did that, I think you could say it really is an interfaith center, and I think minds would change. You know, and also, and if you moved it to another location because this is a sensitive location, an open wound, I think minds would change as well. But I really resent the demonization of those Roland? who oppose